My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to write a quotient in standard form. Standard form implies that you generally have a complex number, c, and you can write it in terms of a purely real part, r, plus an imaginary part, which would be i times capital I here, where i is defined as the imaginary unit square root of negative 1. So, in order to calculate a quotient in terms of this standard form, I start with a ratio. Uh, I'll start with a general ratio, a plus ib, and divide that by another complex number, c plus id. And to get this quotient or ratio in the standard form, the first step is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So I'm going to have c minus id multiplied with the numerator and also with the denominator. When I multiply out the numerator, I'm going to have a times c plus i b c plus b d minus i a d and in the denominator I'm simply going to have c squared plus d squared so I can simplify this a little bit by writing the numerator in terms of just the real parts a c plus b d and then the imaginary component, which is i times bc minus ad, and that whole thing divided by c squared plus d squared. So now I can separate this out into just the real and imaginary parts. So for the real part, I'm going to have AC plus BD divided C squared plus D squared. And for the imaginary part, I'm going to have I times BC minus AD all over C squared plus D squared. So this is the general formula for the standard form for a quotient of this analytic form in which this ratio here is the real part and this ratio here is the imaginary part. So if I know the values of these different constants, then I can rewrite the quotient, this ratio, using this procedure in the standard form as defined at the beginning. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Write Quotient in Standard Form.